Hey guys, um, I wanted to make a all new, all inclusive video on how to use the PDF stamper. I've added some new features, um, so I'll just start from the top here. So the main feature here is to stamp the file name to the PDF. So we've got it set to stamp on the bottom left with red color with a 15 font size. So you uh, highlight all the PDFs, drag and drop them into the form, and then there you go. Now that's a little high. You might want a little lower so it's not riding up on the floor plan there. So um, if you want to change the Y coordinates, maybe down to like 20 to move them down a little bit. Um, let's close this labeled PDF folder and re-drag and drop. And there we go. That's pretty good. Um, so then next, if you want to do like a prefix, maybe like a job number, and then uh, a revision. So the prefix goes before the file name, the suffix goes after. Um, drag and drop. And you've got your job number there, floor plan, Rev2. If you want to do uh, the uh, file path, sometimes that can be useful for CAD drawings and whatnot when they have the names and the folder structure. Um, so that includes the file uh, path there. And what else do we got here? Let's get rid of those. Uh, obviously the Y coordinates, we'll move it on the, the uh, or the X coordinates, we'll move it on the X plane, left and right. If you want to do like a watermark with a red text, font size 60, you do like a confidential type warning. That's pretty useful. Stamps every page of the document, of course. Um, what else do we got? Custom text. If you just want to put like a, uh, I don't know, anything you need in there. Maybe the date. Drag and drop. Actually, let's do like the center with a blue text. Um, font size 20. Thought I did the top, I did the bottom. So you've got your uh, custom text there. Um, and then lastly, you can also stamp like a, co a company logo if you want. So Batman, for example. <laughs> Let's do uh, It's probably going to be too big, but you can change that. So that's the original size. Um, if you change it to 20%, like drag and drop, bam, that works out pretty well. And you can also save your settings now. So find some settings you like, whatever you type in there, whatever you change up here. So you save your settings, you can overwrite them. So that way when you open it the next time, everything's still there. And you can also uh, load the default factory settings and then save those if you wanna just go back to scratch. And I think that's everything. Um, I'm here if you guys have any questions. Let me know what you think. Peace.